Hello and welcome back everyone to this next episode on Anubhav Learning Series. By far in this series of videos, we have learned about how to set up your free MongoDB account with database as a service, how to connect our Mongo database from Capm application, and also performing a post operation using Capm. In this episode, we are going to learn how to perform a GET request, load all the data from the cloud application programming model, eventually from our Mongo database. The steps are again just four easy steps. We will not just implement GET, but we will also do a pagination into the system. Together with that, we will also implement the OData v2 in Capm. So the steps are very simple. First, we will implement a event handler for read operation, which is going to get our customers. Then we implement a async function to connect to Mongo database and our collection and then find the data. Then we will test our service. And then finally, we will implement pagination in step three. And last step, we will convert this to a OData v2 service because these days, a lot of Fury apps and Fury elements already supporting v2 end to end. So let's get started. I will switch over back to our application which is what we had built by far. And now once again, I am going to write a new event handler. So let's copy this and this one will be a read. So let's call get all customers. And let's implement the function. So that's my step number two, get customers, or get all customers, and we will grab this code. So let me explain what are we doing in this function. In this function, we are actually going ahead. Okay, we have a couple of spaces here, which we need to get rid of. So this is because of copying from PPT. System automatically added these spaces. Okay, fantastic. So now, as you can see here, we are first connecting to our Mongo client. Then we are, once we are connected to our database, we are just calling db.collection. We get the collection object, which is our database object and then find all the data. You can also go ahead and test this operation directly. So as I taught you the Robo 3D in the last session, you can go here to the customer collection and you can just press the find operation directly. With F5, you can see it is returning all 14 records eventually out. And then we convert this to a JSON array and respond it back as a response from Capm. Cool. So now it's time to test this get operation very straightforward and simple. So we go back to our terminal for this particular project and then I am going to do a CDS run. This starts the application and I can just go back to our browser to test this call. And of course we are going to hit our customers entity set in the system. I guess we are attached to some debuggers, which I have to kind of stop for time being. Yes. And now let's give a try. So we come back to the browser and this is where we have customer entity. And if I hit, you can see we are now getting all the customers. So let's also try to get the count if it is supported out of the box. And you can see count is not supported out of the box. Is the pagination supported? So let me try to do a dollar top to customer that is also not supported, which means in this case, uh, what typically we get with OData, these things are not going to be supported out of the box. Maybe in the future, once SAP allow us to use Capm with MongoDB directly, these things will come out of the box. But for time being as a developer, we have to implement all these stuff in the system. So it's time that we implement pagination. Pagination for your information is quite important on OData perspective because when if a front end application needs to read data, it will read always data chunk by chunk to avoid any potential performance issues. Typically, let's say your MongoDB has maybe billions of records and you don't want to feed these billion records in one go to front end app. The front end app will crash because of timeout. So that's where we have pagination concept. Just like on YouTube, you get a two minute buffering for YouTube videos. Similarly, here we also have pagination. So to support this, first of all, I need to know 
how and where do I get this value of top? And then how do I transform this to Mongo? So if you go to MongoDB, you can directly try that here with a dot limit. And by the way, this I've got from the documentation of Mongo. So if you pass a limit, then system is going to filter this data. Press F5 and you can see it's limiting with two records. Fantastic. So let's implement this limit. So we switch over back to our PPT and I'm going to grab this code to handle the incoming value for pagination and we will add that over here to the line 26 and of course I have a couple of extra variables extra characters which are coming due to presentation as I'm copying from PPT just got to replace them yeah good so this is our code what we receive here let's format the section good so now what we do is we are just saying for a selection what's the limit how many number of rows were requested that is my max limit and if there is any offset which means dollar skip was passed to me i'm going to get that in offset else i'm going to keep my offset zero uh, if none of these values are passed then i'm going to consider my max limit as 1000 so i'm going to just return 1000 records in one go with an offset as zero this is something to safeguard in case user doesn't pass a top value and i have millions of records in my table so then again the process is same and we are now going to pass here the limit so let's pass the limit dot limit which i just showed you and here i'm going to just do a sum up of offset and limit value now for offset case we have to we have to also do an offsetting we have to slice the results which are not under consideration so we will use results dot slice uh, and we will pass the offset value so i say results results dot offset and sorry dot slice this is a standard javascript function and we pass offset here so that's how we support dollar top and skip using mongo using plain javascript and we are good so it's time that we test this so last time when i executed you saw that i was getting all the records but this time perhaps it should respect my top and skip value so you can see first two records is anubhav and ananya and i'm just going to refresh and there you go the top has worked so if i want to skip anubhav and ananya and load the next two records or next three records then i can do dollar m percent skip and there you go we got rohit max and roger that's pretty cool isn't it yeah awesome so this is how exactly we can support the pagination using mongo last but not the least i would like to now enable a support for o data v2 this is a v4 response which is more lightweight but many of my front-end applications which i am planning to migrate to this mongo based application structure I would need uh, the OData v2 service. So here we use a OData v2 proxy module. So the name of the module is at the rate SAP CDS OData v2 adapter proxy module. I'm going to copy that and let's do a npm install and I will install the module as a dependency on my project. And once the module is available, in the meanwhile it installs, let me create a required file so we are going to add a new file called server.js uh, this file is going to bootstrap my odata v2 proxy so i just go and create a new file called server.js so server.js and here we are going to bootstrap our logic so let's bootstrap I'll switch over back and now i'm going to bootstrap it here so we are going to plug the v2 proxy module now in the middle yes so let's save this and we're good so by default at the time my f boots i will be utilizing now the proxy so let's go ahead and execute again the cds run command which is going to bootstrap now and you can see a v2 proxy was also created with port number or uh, with the address as slash v2 and I can switch over back to my service where obviously I'm getting a response right now for v4 and if I just append a slash v2 slash automatically my service transformed into a v2 based OData service so that's pretty pretty amazing 
and I can utilize this now in my existing Fury apps built on top of V2 OData model. Yes. So I hope you enjoying this series on MongoDB and Capum. For more videos like this, please share, like, subscribe this channel, and I will see you in my next session. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.